Today we're going to talk about rights. Negative rights versus positive rights. What's the difference? What is this? The difference between a negative right and a positive right. Well, let's start out with a positive right. A positive right requires action on someone else's part. So if I wanted a massage and I thought that that was a right that I have, and I said that that was a natural right of mine is to get a massage every day, and it was owed to me, it was my right, that would be a positive right because that would require action on someone else's part. Someone would have to give me that massage every day. And there are some problems that those of us that have have kind of been curious about economics and, and looked into this a bit, there's some real problems. You you probably can see them right now. And I'll, I'll share some of those in other videos. The other kind of rights, the negative rights, this would be a right that doesn't require action on someone else's part. It requires inaction. So let's say that instead of thinking I have a right to a massage every day, I think I have a right not to be punched in the nose. That is considered a negative right because it requires inaction on your part. You may not punch me in the nose. And so I personally choose to believe in negative rights, if I even believe there's such a thing as a right at all. And that we'll probably get into in another video. Can there even be such a thing as a right? Or is there simply, uh, can it be broken down to what is it that I can enforce? What can I make happen? Uh, I, don't, I don't know what the answer to that, and we'll, we'll get into that in another video. So this negative versus positive rights, this is an important thing to consider anytime someone talks about they have a right to something. So if someone says that they have a, all human beings have a right to water, to have plenty of clean drinking water, if someone says that that's a right, what do you think? Is that a negative right or a positive right? Yep. That's a positive right because it requires someone else to provide the water. If someone said that everyone in the world has the right to grow up and not be molested as a child, would that be a negative right or a positive right? Yeah, that would be a negative right, which I consider to be a good thing. We all have a right not to be molested or punched or have a violence initiated against us. So those are some differences in rights, the different kinds of rights. I suggest that you, I challenge you to look at some of the things that you hear in the news. If you're still watching news, I assume most of you that are watching this video and on my channel have moved beyond news. But if you do, still look at something, look at a headline that you, as you pass by a newspaper stand and think about if that thing is a negative right or a, a positive right and think about what you think is right or wrong.